Hello everybody, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. Last time, uh, we got uh, some pretty cool magic in the uh, the mind control spell here. And on top of that, we got this sweet ass flaming sword which uh, kills stuff real good. So at this point, um, I think we just want to go over here. Because uh, there is that cave. I'm not sure if there's anything... Anything else nearby it, uh, we are going to have to use our axes to actually get it into said cave. And there's a tower there, but I think I've been to that tower already. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. Let's just do one of these, and then one of these. Knock that bad boy down. And this looks like another uh, spirit forge, I think they're called. Maybe. Perhaps not. Let's see. Shed your blood for me, and these artifacts will be yours. Imagine what power you could wield. So no uh, big speech from Kane about this uh, this particular one. Ah, uh, that's fine. I guess we'll we'll do it. Why not? So you come to the Spirit Forge for help, do you, vampire? Trade you secrets for the blood of the dead, I will. Uh, yeah. So that just always drains our blood down to... pretty much nothing. Uh, at this point... The axe flame sword. I want that back on, and I want... Shed your blood. Oh yeah, he's gonna keep talking. And these artifacts will be yours. Imagine what power you could wield. All right. Oh, <laughs> accidentally went and drink there a little bit as I want to do. We'll go ahead and use. Uh, yeah, I think one's probably enough to get us started here. Uh, we need to go mist form, and uh, let's let's just double check this tower down here. This actually, apparently, I didn't come down here before. Is there is a. Uh, an extra tree, uh, which I would like to cut down. I wonder if I could do it with the flame sword. And definitely cut that guy down. Uh, I cannot. I can change the lighting on it. <laughs> that might be the last tree in the uh, the axes flame sword in the area. Right. So I just wanted to go double check on this tower. And uh, I think we are pretty much in the clear here. So it doesn't seem like uh, there's anything... Anything here. To be honest with you. Nothing obvious, anyway. Guess we'll keep these axes equipped for a sec here. While we uh, finish uh, deforesting the area. guy is not a fan of our efforts. Getting knocked into the water here. Interesting. Oh, and he just keeps coming back. So we'll, uh, we'll leave him be, I think. But I think that's, I think that's it. More or less. I mean, unless I missed some other little islands around here. I'm wondering if these trees are respawning, though. I feel like they might be. <laughs> Which makes this a rather uh, fruitless effort. Well, maybe not. This is the tower we were literally just in, I believe. I think that's gonna just about do it. Yeah. These are trees that I have cut down. This is a tree that I have not cut down. A couple of them, in fact. Bunch of little islands that I haven't checked out yet, I guess. If you want to call them islands, I, I guess, anyway. So we've already explored everything down here, I think. 
Yeah, it doesn't look like there's really going to be much of anything down there, so we'll go uh, up this way instead. And uh, head to the east. We've been in that tower, most certainly. Oh my god, I didn't know that I could do this. <laughs> so with the, the left stick, I can actually uh, just see the whole map that I'm on. That is a little bit of a surprise. Um, cool. Good information to have, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's um, maybe stay on the beaten path a little bit here. So we can conserve a little bit of magic, should we need it. What is that? Uh, right, I have to, uh... Flame sword. Do one of those. Oh, it's, uh, one of you guys. That's gonna be a real bitch. Um, let's, uh, prepare ourselves... ...with one of these, and then also some of these. Because we're gonna need our magic to actually get across... ...the way here. Zombie's gonna tank hits from my uh, stuff. So we only need two of those to uh, to kill those guys. Don't know if there's any way that I can uh, <laughs> prevent myself from getting hit by those. There we are. Thing is, if we use Mistform, we're gonna lose our uh, our Aegis buff. So that creates a little bit of a, a dilemma, as you can imagine. So we've gotta go up and around through here. It shouldn't be that bad, although it really depends on how much we have to change back into Mistform, I guess. Uh, on top of that, We'll use another one of these guys. Couldn't get around the uh, the thing there. Is this uh no? Is there anything here? No. We do have other items that we can use. Um, in particular, uh. That's not what I want. In particular, we've got... We've got uh, some more powerful... Some more powerful items. In fact, we can maybe equip a couple of them... Now. Like those. Or even... Uh, go with uh, the energy banks. The of Taro. Flay, the heart of the heart of Flay, the Pentelich of Tarot. Give me, uh, sure, let's try some of these. The Pentelich of Tarot, Impl slow font of energy, font We've of We've got a bunch putrescence. of these, font of putrescence, uh, as well. Okay. Just be cautious, and uh, if we can get these guys on the edge of the screen, the very edge, it kind of seems like uh, they won't uh, be able to aggro on us uh, and cast their bullshit homing projectiles. So that's going to be my strat, I guess. Oh, well, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> I can? Looks like I sort of can hit them, though. Um, let's try one of these. We haven't used this in a long time. Yeah, that just kills a bunch of dudes. Oh, shadows. I think we just one-shotted them. Um, we'll probably save those and maybe use some of these. Hopefully I'll uh, be able to one-shot these enemies. Strange that Vorador would choose a dwelling so perilous to him. The swamp could only offer a vampire hazard and pain. Well, there you go. It is a swamp.
Thought I would give it a try to <laughs> see if we could destroy the thing. What about the flame sword? No. Doesn't work either. Oh, I still got hit by that? Come on. Come on. We do need to go down this way. We're going to have to deal with some of these asshole enemies. Uh, you know what? I have another one of these guys. What the hell? The Heart of Darkness. Heart of Darkness, indeed. Uh, I think I got stuck in the water there, or something. Either way, it was not, uh, it was not good. <laughs> not good at all. Maybe part of the knockback from the, uh, the, the magic missiles there. Okay, another one of those. That's not so bad. We just stay to the side. A little bit of water ain't gonna hurt us too bad. Just looking for another one of those traps <laughs> with these uh, those enemies. All right. Uh, no. Well, let's look at the map here for a sec. Is there anything? No. Nothing over there. So we'll continue on. Well, I guess I might as well have just stayed misformed there. <laughs> let's, uh, let's take a look up this way. Oh, God. Uh, run away. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can um, line up for one of these. Borodor's keep was hidden deep within the turbigent forest, nestled among vines and creepers that clung desperately to its dark, weathered stone. Termogent forest, not termogen, like I've been saying, apparently. Looks like that might be the last guy that we have to deal with, though. So that's a... a welcome change, because those guys are assholes. Big time. See if there's anything out back, real quick, though. That is a resounding not really. As far as I can tell. Alright, well, fair enough. Let's, uh... Ring the old doorbell, shall we? The luxury with which this Vorador surrounded himself was impressive. His wealth would shame the haughty nobles of my former court. Would he now? Or would they? Well, it's fireproof. And it looks like we're going to have a uh, just a little bit of a dungeon here. If I had to guess... That this vulgar display of fortune remained undisturbed was a testament of fear's dominion over greed. Hmm... He's definitely got people here. Like this lady. Their charms were almost visible through the gores of their clothing, yet beauty such as theirs delivered only death. For these were Vorador's pets, nothing more than beasts, slave to his will and the easy prey he provided. Vampires, all of them, held in thrall by one stronger still. Ah, interesting. So I think uh, I was right, those, those ladies are vampires. This guy, on the other hand, not so sure. And I think there's not really anything else for you to do, so we'll grab this now. That's open the door. I do kind of want to know what's uh, going on over this way. 
before we go too far. I don't know what the hell that was. Let's, let's just continue on for a sec here. Ow. Don't appreciate getting lit up like this when I'm changing forms, but uh, what can you do, I guess? Uh, we'll use another one. You need to start conserving these a little bit. Starting to have to use them quite often here. Um... I think uh, the solution here would be a little, uh, a little of this. And even still, this door isn't isn't even open. Let's see how we do. Yeah, this uh, this kills more than monsters. That's for sure. I kind of feel like this is the uh, the way we need to go to progress. So I wonder what's uh, what's in the other direction. That almost looks like a door. But I can't go through the curtain. And I can't burn the curtain. So I guess that's the end of that. I didn't mean to use that spell, but whatever, so be it. Definitely, we'll take this opportunity to get some blood. There we go. Ah, balls. Can't even see where I'm facing here. Alright, that'll work. Borodor's pantry, a vampire's feast. Like cattle awaiting slaughter, men and women dangled from the rusted hooks upon the dungeon walls. Blood and viscera frosted the dirt and stone. The abundance nearly overwhelmed me, for blood is the life. Uh, yeah, fair enough. So I think if I go here, that's going to take me to a totally different room. I really do want to go back. And see what that other room was all about, so I guess I'm, I'm gonna do that. Real fast here, we might have to run past or fight some of these guys. If that's the case, then, uh... So be it. Can I walk across this? No. I might be able to get those guys with, uh, with the flays. But, um... I don't know if there's any reason to. I mean, sometimes there is the the whole, you know, kill uh, all the enemies to unlock a thing. This almost looks like, hang on. No, never mind. I think, right? Okay. Thought I, I thought there was an extra door aside from the one we came through, and I was mistaken. It's losing my mind here a bit. Yeah, so we did want to come in here. Look at all this cool stuff. And uh, a werewolf. It hits really fucking hard. But we uh, <laughs> took care of him uh, pretty darn handily. Nothing I can do with that. I wonder if there's anything I could do, perhaps, with this. This looks interesting. Yes, I can. How about that? Would have missed a, uh, a magic dealie. The darkness was soothing, and in the distance, sharp and sweet, came the scent of spilt blood. Yeah, people made a mist out here. Oh, and she's throwing shit at me. Let's get out of here. That hurt a lot. All right, well, we've explored part of this. When we come back, we will uh, continue to explore it and uh, see what else we can find. What other goodies and secrets Borodor has 
hidden away here, including probably the vampire himself, I would think. 